Hey folks, today we're making an arcade style MIDI controller using two affordable microcontrollers, the ESP32 and Raspberry Pi Pico. We'll walk through the construction and coding process, compare their features, and I'll give you my recommendation on which board you should choose. Let's get started. Here's what all we'll need for the build. First, a microcontroller and a mini breadboard. The ESP32 sends wireless MIDI over Bluetooth, while the Raspberry Pi Pico uses low latency MIDI over USB. Additionally, we'll need some arcade buttons. I chose pink and blue 30 millimeter buttons. This is actually the most expensive part of the build with each button being around $1 on Amazon. To connect everything, we'll need wires and a wire crimping setup. I made my own cables with female clips for the arcade buttons on one end and pins for the breadboard on the other. I also put together a long daisy chain wire to link all the arcade buttons ground terminals. Making your own cables is a good budget way to go, especially if you can cover the cost of the tools. And for some reason, I find it oddly satisfying. Recently at night, I've been watching Mario 64 speedruns while crimping cables, living my best life. To decorate our boxes, I've picked up these vinyl sticker packs. One box is going to have our Pokemon stickers, and the other one is going to have these undead skateboard stickers. Finally, we'll need a cigar box and a 30mm Forster bit for the arcade buttonholes. With a bit of TV magic, we've created our necessary holes, and now we can start assembling the box. I'm using the Arduino IDE for both of these builds and the Control Surface Library. Since my main purpose for these boxes is going to be to use them with Koala Sampler, I'm going to hard code the MIDI note values for each button. For the ESP32, I tried using the Control Surface Library, but then I found expanding on the built-in Bluetooth MIDI example was more performant. Now with our sketch installed, we can connect our controller to Koala Sampler over Bluetooth and start playing. Okay, so here's a bit of behind the scenes. Initially, I planned on only using the ESP32 due to its low cost and built-in Bluetooth. However, I noticed this intermittent Bluetooth latency while playing, and if I'm honest, I was pretty disappointed. I don't want to blame the ESP32 specifically. It could be an issue with the latest version of Mac OS I'm on, the fact that I have a Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth trackpad connected also, or some mysterious bug in the code. 
Gosh, I really hate dogging on this chip because I've seen great videos online of people doing stuff, even making MIDI controllers, but even in those videos I noticed some of that latency as I was watching it. So that's when I turned to the Raspberry Pi Pico. I switched out the boards, which was pretty straightforward since this is a solderless build, and I uploaded a new sketch using Control Surface and the Arduino IDE. I'll provide more detailed steps in the description, but it's all pretty straightforward once you know how to add libraries and install sketches in Arduino. And now our undead blue punch MIDI controller is powered by the Pico. Testing the MIDI controller with both the ESP32 and Raspberry Pi revealed a few things. I think the ESP32 with its built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is best suited for IoT projects and wireless applications. On the other hand, the Raspberry Pi Pico offers simplicity and low latency making it ideal for real-time musical performances. Ultimately, I chose the Pico. However, it's worth noting that the newest ESP32 versions support MIDI over USB, and the latest Pico comes with Bluetooth. There's also a variety of Arduino boards, many of which are super cheap and support MIDI over USB straight out of the box. Choosing the best microcontroller depends on your specific needs as new models with more features are constantly rolling out. Probably the best controller to go with is the one in your closet, collecting dust. But if you're starting from scratch, I would say consider picking up an Arduino or the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you don't mind spending a little more money, then the Teensy has more tools for audio development, but that's a topic for another day. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this budget-friendly MIDI controller showdown, and I'm sorry, don't dog on me for not liking the ESP32. I do like it! But in the end, for this application, in my experience, I think going hardwired is the way to go. Let me know in the comments if you're planning on building something cool and join my Discord linked in the description to share your projects. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.